Yeah, and I didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way. You didn't have to work at it. <laughs> I, I really planned to set up something for Advent candles, and and uh, Advent got here before I was ready. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the longest, fastest year. Yes. 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 Yeah. Debbie, did you get to check for the uh, empty medicine bottles? I, I was at church this morning, and I'm like, dang it, I got a call, so I'll call tomorrow. Okay, just let me know. I will. Thank you. Share the screen. I had the heck of time trying to get all of my music downloaded. I don't know what the solution was. Linda. Oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that is just perfection. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. <laughs> Aww. So uh, I have something on my Amazon wish list, which is a face mask with an Australian shepherd that is the same color pattern as Mozart. So it's almost like a Mozart face mask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have one with a bunch of greyhounds on it. Oh, oh wow, that is perfect. That is so <laughs> Sharon has a whip it. Yeah. Shelly, hi, Shelly. hi Shelly. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi Shelly. Good morning. Is everyone doing all right? No. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Will you um Julian, I'm so sorry about your aunt. Yes. Thank no. you. And the ladies didn't get the quilt done quite in time for her, but we sent our prayers anyway, and the quilt for your cousin will be done this week. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Okay. Here's my whip it. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> Not that we're dog people. But... It's six, seven. We're, we're kind of dogging it, so you know. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I also have a cat mask, uh, nine, nine. which uh, is a white cat with blue eyes and a pink oh. nose. Oh. So it kind of looks like twin. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I always wear it when we have to take him to the vet for his uh, checkups with his diabetes. He's doing pretty well, though. Good, 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 good. Nice. Ready. Are we all here? Am I, should I start with the announcements? Uh, yeah, give me one second. Let me know. All okay. right. You can go ahead and start. All right. Uh, I have three announcements today. Uh, first, one we've already mentioned, but I want to mention it again. Our sympathies go out to Julian and Melinda and their family over the passing of his aunt Julian, or Irene rather, uh, and she passed away from COVID, to understand it, and her son Quentin is still in the ICU, so we'll keep him in our thoughts and prayers as well as the family. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yes. And uh, a call from Laura, Mild Mildred Shalito has passed. And it took me a while to get this down, and, and Laura can correct me. I had some help from Sharon also getting this down. Uh, Bonnie, uh, her, her, son, her daughter, Janine, mother-in-law, is Mildred Shalito, and she passed away. And uh, so our sympathies go out to, to uh, Janine and the family over uh, the loss of, of Mildred. Uh, and the other one I got from Linda. Uh, there is a day of celebration today. I will mispronounce the name. I'm sorry. I remember her coming with her partner to uh, be a guest minister. Uh, Dion, is it voice? Uh, her ordination. Voice. Is, okay. Uh, her ordination is today at Bethel UCC. Uh, Linda sent me a link. If you want to email me after uh, uh, church today, I can send you the link uh, so you can see her ordination today. 
anyway, uh, those are the three announcements I have. Does anyone else have any other announcements? I have a question. Jesse, last week you mentioned Jason Huff being a missing person. Was there any news on that? No, um, we haven't really received anything other than um, where his uh, car was last seen, which okay. was around uh, Plattsburgh, I believe. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, anyone else? All right. Um, what's next, Jesse? The call to worship or? Um, Kimmy has a song uh, okay. that I uh, pre recorded. Uh, okay. Let me know if you can't. I believe I hit volume share. Uh, give me a, a thumbs up if you can hear it. Um, Come, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until. Come into God's presence in hopeful anticipation. We await the coming of the Son of God. The sun, the sun may, may be dimmed, dimmed the moon may lose its light, the stars may fall from the sky. Still the divine spirit is with us. God sends us angels from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. We hear Jesus' words, keep awake, be alert. Okay. In the opening prayer, Almighty God, your Son has shown us how to love one another. During this holy season awaiting, may our love for you overflow into joyous service and be a healing witness to our neighbors through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Give me one second. I think the boys are going to be lighting a candle while we sing the song, while Kimmy sings. I'll go ahead and move on to the children. Sorry, we got a little stage fright. <laughs> I completely understand that. <laughs> he was all ready forever and then he walked away. Would you like me to do it? That would be Hi, Jessica. Hi. Okay. Here, right here. Right here. Are you ready? Ready, Jesse? The 
first candle symbolizes our hope for the Advent season. Do we have a song, Jesse? Oh, yes. Is that all for the children's moment? That's it. Thanks. Okay. Oh, we can do the pretzel prayer. Oh, yeah. God, I love you. Help me to love others. Love me. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for this time of Advent, this time of in between where we hope and are in expectation for remembering the birth of your son, Jesus. As we move through this time of uncertainty and as we lift up those who have suffered through this time, through the loss of loved ones, sickness and illness, we ask that your healing presence be with them. And we ask that you guide us through this time so that we can have our hope and peace so that we can be ready for the newness of life that comes with the Advent season. And as our Savior has taught us to pray, our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Now for our scripture reading. Which one are we doing? Go mark one through eight. Yes. Uh, it is the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophet Isaiah. See, I'm sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, 
make his path straight. John the Baptist baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the, the uh, thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. During the season of Advent, we will light four candles for each of the four Sundays of Advent. This morning's candle that we lit is the candle of peace. I've noticed that in all four Sundays, the theme of hope is in all of the messages titles. So I thought I would speak to you today about how hope and peace are connected in the scripture text. Peace for me is a sense of oneness, where all of creation is in unity. Hope is that sense of expectancy that things will get better. Hope is what Advent is all about. It's a time of expectancy that the troubles we face today will be made better with the coming of God's kingdom and his son, Jesus the Christ. John the Baptist is a good example of what that kind of hope looks like. He represented a sense of renewal for the Israelite people when he called them out to the River Jordan in the wilderness. The wilderness might seem like a place of loneliness and isolation, but for John, it was a place in which the Israelites could chart a new path for what their future would be. The wilderness was drawing them back to their earlier history when Moses and the people of God spent 40 years after escaping the bondage of Pharaoh. It was an in-between place that represented the promise of God and the not yet fulfillment of God's promise. The Hebrew writers believe that it was in this in-between space where God was experienced. The hope of peace was something that the Israelites people were expecting. They were oppressed by the Roman Empire and were waiting for their exodus experience of liberation, which would be Jesus and the kingdom of God. What do we hope for on this day? What are we anticipating as we journey through this time of Advent? Like the Israelite people and John the Baptist, we too are in an in-between space, a space where we hope and anticipate that things will get better, but we are not there, so we wait. This is a lot that there is a lot that I am waiting in anticipation for. I long for the time when we can get back together again and I can travel more to see my family. I am waiting to finish my degree and start a new profession as a minister. I am waiting for that time when we can have social gatherings. Again. Let us remember that as we wait in anticipation for the promise of God's kingdom of peace, that it is in this in-between space that God is preparing us for what is to come. It is this preparation that we are able, it is because of this preparation 
that we are able to walk in newness of life. Amen. Now for the offertory invitation. We're a congregation that has a radical welcome. We are an LGBTQ AAA supporting church in the beautiful city of downtown St. Joseph, Missouri. Uh, there is a link here to make online uh, donations using the PayPal button at our website. And uh, we accept, and of course, anyone who wants to mail in uh, their contribution to the church office is free to do so as well. Now this is stanza three, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. Come thou long expected Jesus, born to save thy people free. for our benediction let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and work towards peace for that day when God will be made known to us Amen Amen Thank you Jesse, your message was very very meaningful to me, I think that the question of what are you hoping 